Hello, my name is Sarah Fisher. I'm unwilling to admit how many times I've taken this video. I keep thinking it needs to be picture perfect and I need to be saying the exact correct things. I uh, originally envisioned writing down the questions, writing down the answers, essentially reading them verbatim. That didn't feel like me at all and didn't feel very genuine. So instead I'm gonna read the questions to my left and I'm just gonna answer them to the screen as if we're doing a live interview. So the first one is why do you connect with the mission? For a long time, mental health has played a very big role in my life and I think sometimes I'm very willing to admit that and other times I'm not. And I think the problem in mental health and why there is a mental health crisis is the times that we're not willing to admit we're not doing well. And when we don't feel normal about it, we feel like we're crazy. Um, and I think that something I really, 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 really feel passionate about is normalizing essentially the bad parts of life and normalizing bad feelings, normalizing uh, being upset, normalizing anxiety. Um, and I really, really like the way that To Write Love on Her Arms presents their information and their <clears throat> thoughts on depression, anxiety, mental health, suicide. And I think it's really important to have conversations around these hard topics. And I would love to be a part of this team where I feel like information that is being given and posted and sent out is really genuine. Um, some relevant experience I have is the previous company I worked for called Brave Enterprises. It's a psychology based company and studied bravery and fear. Um, we would run sessions with sports teams, corporate groups uh, to try to help enhance your non cognitive skills. So that'd be something you don't have to think about, which is, you know, like your mental resiliency. So within the company, I would do a lot of program writing. I would also do a lot of content writing. I would write newsletters. I would be doing social media. So I'd be doing the posts for social media, doing the video editing, the photo editing, the captioning. Um, another company that I've done a lot of writing for is the Women's Professional Lacrosse League. So I've done a lot of content writing for them. Something else that I was really excited pumped passionate about is an online writing platform that I started in college. It's called the Bird's Eye is specifically for Wagner College athletic community members to post online, share stories, share hard stories, uh, kind of get more of a connection going within the community. Um, share a story that's changed your life and tell us why. Um, off the top of my head, a very impactful story um, that I've lived is when I was volunteering at a behavioral health facility, there was a man who had previously been in and out of jail, was in and out of uh, rehab for alcohol, and he just couldn't get sober. He, he couldn't figure out why. He couldn't, um, you know, he'd go a couple days, then he ended up drinking again, and he was visibly frustrated with himself that he couldn't, he felt like there was no reason in living anymore. And he had told, he had told us that, and um, myself and the head therapist were asking him, you know, like, what, what would it take to get you sober? Like, what do you want? And, you know, I think that's, a question a lot of people actually don't know the answer to like what what would make this better for you and he right away said i really want to eat eat lunch with you guys and have a roast beef sandwich and he was very set on this roast beef sandwich he really wanted a roast beef sandwich but more importantly he wanted to eat lunch with us and he went on to say how he doesn't see anyone during the day. He doesn't connect with anyone. He lives by himself. The most connection all day he gets is when he comes to his therapy. Um, and really all he wanted to was, was to feel seen. Um, and for him, all that took was lunch and a roast beef sandwich. So Dana, the therapist promised him every other week, she would get him a roast beef sandwich. And as long as he stayed sober, we'd have our roast beef sandwich lunches. Um, so I was there for about a year and this was like the third month I was there that he said this roast beef sandwich thing. Um, that was two years ago. 
He's been sober ever since. The roast beef sandwich has been upped to a soup and a salad. So now they do soup and salad. Um, but I think that really impacted me because, you know, sometimes it's not even about the science or the technical specifics in, you know, how your brain is functioning. And it's more about connecting with others. And it's more about talking and talking through things, normalizing things with other people. And I think essentially that's what to write love in her arms is doing is making this mental health thing, addiction, anxiety, depression, a community and a space where people should and can feel comfortable sharing. Um, so that story has really, really impacted my life. I think about it a lot and that, you know, sometimes people just need a roast beef sandwich. <laughs> I'm over time. I do realize I apologize. Um, how would I be uniquely positioned to help uh, better fulfill the mission and the vision and the role? I am deeply passionate about writing. I love, love, love to write. I am deeply passionate about mental health and addiction and anxiety, depression, suicide. I think that we don't talk about it enough as a community. And I think that we all know that we don't talk about it enough. And still here we are. Um, I think that I have a really good story and I think that I am able to share other people's stories in a really genuine, you know, light and friendly kind of way. Um, I'd love to work with and for to write love in her arms. And yeah, that's, this is my video submission. Hope to hear back from you guys.